everyone, welcome back for another week of Tiny Tots. This week, J is for jellyfish. We are going to learn all about the letter J. But first, some book recommendations. The first book is, Do Jellyfish Like Peanut Butter? Amazing Sea Creature Facts by Corinne Dimas and Artemis Roering, illustrated by Ellen Shee. And this book has a bunch of tidbits and information, including the one about whether or not jellyfish do like peanut butter. I guess you'll have to read it to find out. And these next two books I grabbed from our juvenile nonfiction section. The first one is Jellyfish by the World of Wonder. And this one is Jolly Jellyfish by Mignon Gunasakara. And this, um, both of these books have scientific information and tidbits about jellyfish, um, anything that you'd want to know, it's in these two books. All right, first we're going to begin with how to write the letter J, followed by our jellyfish sensory bottle craft. Let's learn how to write the letter J. In your Take and Make kit, you should have received this worksheet. Follow along with me and practice as many times as you would like. For an uppercase J, we are going to do this line first, one, followed by a horizontal line at the top. One, two. One, two. Very good. For a lowercase J, we are going to go halfway, so starting at this dashed line. One, and dot. One, and dot it. One, dot it, and one more time. One, and dot it. Very good, let's review. For an uppercase letter J, one, two. For a lowercase letter J, one, dot the J. Now that we've learned how to write an uppercase J and a lowercase J, what other words begin with the letter J? J is for jacket. J is for jam. J is for jet. J is for juice. And J is for jar. In your take and make kit for this week, J is for jellyfish, you should have received directions. And these directions are actually taken from Miss Humblebee's Academy, which is one of our free databases that you can um, find by following this information here to get to our website. Other words that begin with the letter J, a plastic bag, a piece of string, a puzzle that is also double-sided, and a sensory bottle that has already been pre-filled with food coloring that you will need, as well as glitter. Step one, first cut open the plastic bag along all sides. You will only need one side of the bag for this project. There you have it. And we're actually only going to use one of them, but I think you should keep the other one for right now, just in case you mess up when you're doing the first one to do a do-over. Step two, place your finger in the center of the bag. This will become the jellyfish's head. The bigger your jellyfish's fish's head, the more likely it will float and look like an actual jellyfish. So you can put your finger in the middle of the bag here. That's going to be your head, the very center of it. Step three, draw, draw a circle around the center of the bag so you can mark where your jellyfish's head will go. Tie a piece of string along the marked line. So if it helps you, you can take a marker and draw a big line. And if not, you don't have to, you can try it without. So you're going 
to put your finger in the bag like this. Carefully remove, and remember what it said, the bigger the head, the more like a jellyfish it will be. And you're gonna tie the string around it. You might need an additional set of hands to help you with this. So that is going to be our jellyfish. Like I said, if you would like, um, the marker might help you as well. I found it helpful to, um, to do it without, but whatever works is best for you. Number four, cut the bottom of the plastic bag into strips. Don't just cut strips the way we have it right now. We're actually gonna shave about two thirds of the jellyfish off like this or else it's not gonna be able to fit in your bottle. If you noticed, your bottle is only about this wide. So we're actually going to cut off a little bit more so that it can actually spin. And once you've shaved some off, now you're gonna cut it into strips. And these are gonna act like the tentacles. Step five, reopen your jellyfish's head and grasp it between your two fingers, leaving the bottom open. Fill the jellyfish's head about halfway with water, the other half will remain with air, and hang it upside down so that it doesn't leak while you're doing this next part. So you're gonna carefully untie. You're gonna open up the head and keep it between your fingers. And you're gonna pour a tiny, tiny bit of water. Just a little tiny bit in. So that half of it is gonna be water and the other half, which we're gonna tie back, is gonna be air. And that's super important to not have too much water or else it won't float. So we're gonna retie our bag back carefully and again you might need somebody to assist you while you hold this and I'm actually going to double knot it now okay and notice how there's still air in there as well with the water I'm gonna trim off the ends carefully and then I'm gonna sit it upright before we need to use it again so that it doesn't leak all over everything. <laughs> Step six, fill your bottle with water and be careful not to get the blue food coloring on your fingers or it will stain. If you would like the color to be lighter, dilute it with more water. And then I've also added glitter to give it more of a sensory bottle ocean effect. So we're gonna carefully take our water you can do this in a sink at home if you would like. We're gonna pour into our bottle. That looks like a pretty good color blue. If you think that's a too, um, too dark of a color blue, you could always pour more out. and add more in to dilute it and make it lighter. It's whatever you prefer. But I've also found that if the lighter that it is, the more that you can actually see your jellyfish once, it in, once it's in. Number seven, gently push the jellyfish into the bottle, bottle's opening and arrange it so she's head up or he, whatever you would like. Okay, so we're gonna sit it in there I'm actually gonna pour a little bit of water back in so there's more water in our bottle. Okay. 
gonna screw this tight and make sure that the lid is screwed on tight before you start shaking it. And as you turn it, your jellyfish head should always remain side up. So if it's not flipping, it means that your jellyfish is too wide. So notice how when I turn it upside down, the jellyfish's head is still down. So I'm actually going to take it back out carefully and do it over a different surface so you don't make a mess. And that means I need to trim some more of the tentacles off so that it can actually flip. Okay, and then we're gonna put her back in, head up. So if you'll notice, as I go to rotate my bottle, here's the head. It's always staying top up. Here's again. If your jellyfish head is not staying top up, it might mean that you just have too much water in your head or you didn't um, make the head big enough so that it can float. So if that's the case, take your spare piece again. I've also included some extra string in each kit and try it again. The key is to have a larger head with more air than water in it and to make sure that your tentacles on your jellyfish are short enough so that your actual jellyfish can turn in the bottle. For more fun activities like that, don't forget to visit Miss Humblebee's Academy and you can access that from our website. It is for um, ages three to six. All right, join us next week on K is for Koala.